Hey traders, this is Christian from Hertz Tribeca Trade Group with a quick video on Cardinal Health. This was a trade from last week at the, in the Tribeca Trade Group trading room last week that we set up. And uh, we're just going to go over the, um, the setup last week, what drew our attention to it, and um, just the overall uh, whole process of the trade and, um, and managing it at this point, because I still am in this trade. Risk disclaimer in front of you, everything that we're going through is for information purposes only, uh, not giving out any advice or recommendations here. Please read the whole risk disclaimer there. So this was a trade, uh, as I mentioned, that we saw last week. Um, we And what was nice about this was we caught some option activity, which just kind of gave us a hint. Uh, and that's basically how I use option activity in the trading room, is I use it for idea generation, uh, I also look for momentum, uh, and I think um, you know when we see option activity like this, both could possibly happen. Keep in mind, I always will look at the option flow, then look at the chart and see if it makes a good setup. We see a lot of option trades, uh, you know, throughout the day, throughout the week. So being selective, especially in this market, is really important. But this drew my attention to because um, Cardinal Health is another name that is. Um, a medical supplier. And right now in this market, these types of names are what the market really likes. Things like McKesson, things like ABC, Amerisource Bergen. If you look at some of these charts, and if you had a little bit of a frame, frame of mind that, um, that these names have just been doing very well. Here's McKesson, right? So these are medical suppliers. Um, they're involved in a few other things in the, in the, in the healthcare uh, in the healthcare profession, here's ABC. So it helped to have this basis to say, hey, look at what these stocks have been doing. Look at the trends. And what's funny about these names is you don't really hear too many people talking about them, even though they've been trending quite beautifully over the last, uh, over the last few months. So that's what kind of um, drew my attention to this name is that, hey, Cardinal Health, we really haven't seen too much uh, you know, call activity, much interest in this name, but it made sense to me that someone was taking a speculative position. So that's really what it's about when we're looking at trades is connecting the dots, having a couple different factors that are interesting, right? So what drew me to this trade was besides the option activity, but then looking at the chart, which I have over here is just a tight consolidation, right? So this one did not break out yet, right? It had a nice move, followed by a couple of weeks of consolidation, which I really like. Uh, this is something that we are doing now in the trading room, where as soon as I enter a trade, right, um, I'm talking about you know, what I see in the chart, um, what's going on. I'm also providing an audio file. right? As soon as that trade hits the tape, or as soon as I get into a trade at 11.27, I'm giving a description about why I like the trade, what's interesting to, to me about it. And then, of course, you know, here's the trade entry. And this is important too, right? This is everything that we like to go over um, in terms of, we don't know if every trade is gonna work. So, you, so always having a plan for the trade as you enter the trade, you should already, you know, my opinion, you should already have your stop price. You should already have your targets, right? And that's what we detailed in that video file, or that, sorry, that, uh, that audio file. So right now, um, what we talked about is this upside VPOC target. Um, I also put this trade out on Twitter too, uh, the, same, the same day that I um, put this, you know, obviously a little bit later than what we discussed in the trading room. But I think 62.28 is, is an area that this is getting to. Um, I did take some, some targets in this trade, but um, this is a trade if possible, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. You know, after, of course, we've locked in profits. Notice that we've also have one of these virgin point of controls up here where we could see some digestion around 63. But um, this is a name that I want to stay in because right now this is what this market likes. And if we go back to these two charts, right, this ABC, um, you could see us run from, from basically 125 to 165. So I don't think that, you know, even though we've got a little bit of digestion, you know, and, and a little bit of resistance ahead of us, these are this is a stock that I probably want to try to stay in, um, provided that once it hits that upside resistance, that it doesn't do a complete fade, right? So again, some, some stocks that probably, you know, aren't the most exciting things right now, but this is what's trending. This is what's working in this market. You know, cheap stocks with that have a little bit of a story to them. Overall, the sector is re looking really good, both healthcare, pharma, as well as a little bit of um, medical devices now showing some strength, which we'll also talk about in our weekend video. All right, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.